Alice has taken out a loan for $100,000 at 5% interest rate. And she wants to look at different loan payment options. So what we've done here is we've created an electrical model to model Alice's loan and her payments. Now it, here we have a one farad capacitor. The charge on this one farad capacitor is going to represent her debt, her loan amount. We've labeled this particular node debt. And recall, if we use a one farad capacitor, for every volt on this capacitor, we have one coulomb of charge. And recall that standard stimulation conditions means a coulomb of charge is a thousand units. So for every volt, we have a coulomb of charge on this capacitor, or a thousand dollars. So if I have one volt on this capacitor, I have a thousand dollars. But in this case, I want to model a hundred volts on this capacitor for a hundred thousand dollar loan. So here I've set the initial condition. I've used the SPICE directive. Initial condition, voltage at the node debt equals a hundred. And over here, I've modeled the 5% interest on this loan. And this generates a current that flows into this capacitor and adds debt interest. Now, recall from a previous video that the gain factor is set based on a 5% interest from the table. So the 5% interest corresponds to this number for the gain factor. So what this current source is going to do, it's going to look at this terminal. It's going to measure the voltage at this debt node. And it's going to multiply that voltage times this number and produce an, a small current that will model the, the loan interest rate. Now over here, we have another current source. And this current source is making payments. It's making loan payments. So it's removing charge from the capacitor and paying down the debt. Now, Alice wants to pay $500 a month on this loan for the first three years. And then after three years, she figures she'll be earning a little more money and she wants to up her payments to $550 a month. That's what these two components allow us to do. Here, this voltage source is a piecewise linear that at time zero, it sets the payment at 500. Now, notice that the gain factor is 0 0.001. So this, in effect, does a divide by 1,000. It's going to take this 500, multiply it by this gain term, and it's going to produce a half an amp of current flow. And recall that an amp is like a thousand dollars a month. So a half an amp will be a five hundred dollar a month payment. So that'll happen for about 36 simulation seconds. Now recall that in standard simulation conditions a second of simulation time corresponds to a month in our real world time. So at 36 months or three years, the payment's going to increase to 550 a month. Now Alice wants to look at another condition. So let me zoom out. I have that model, but we'll zoom to fit. And now I've zoomed out. And notice that I've added two other components here. This is going to model a one-time payment that Alice wants to make at 10 years into the loan. She wants to pay an extra $10,000 just to cut down on her interest payments. And she figures she'll have 10K saved up in 10 years. And so what this V2 source does is it executes this piecewise linear statement. And what that does is it sets a little pulse, a little voltage pulse that gets converted into current by this current source. And it sets that pulse at 120 months into the loan. So this allows me to model a future 
condition. And what I've done here is I've set this pulse to be 100 volts high and this pulse width to be a tenth of a second. And this gain term right now is set to zero, but I'm going to later set it to one. And that will cause this 100 volts to produce 100 amps for a tenth of a second, which is equivalent to 10 coulombs of charge being removed from the capacitor. So recall that 100 amps for a tenth of a second. Now charge is current times time. So a current of 100 amps for only a tenth of a second will be 10 coulombs. So that's what this is going to do. It's going to wait for 10 years and it's going to make a payment of $10,000 or 10 coulombs and it will discharge this detonode by 10 volts. But right now this current source won't do anything because I set the gain equal to zero. So all these numbers here will be multiplied by zero and it will have no effect. So let's do a simulation and see how long it takes for Alice to pay down this debt without making this lump sum 10-year payment. So I'm going to select my run icon and let's probe our debt node and here we go. We start with 100 volts as expected and the debt is paid off approximately. Let me expand this so you can see it a little better. And you can see over here, she's paying 500 a month. And then you see about here, the slope changes a little bit and she's switched to 550 a month. And when we reach zero volts on the capacitor, the loan's paid off. So let's zoom in there and let's give us a cursor here. Let's find about where zero volts is. So let's take this, let's bring it over here to zero. We see it's about 342 and a half months. Now if you divide that by 12 months per year, she's going to pay it off at 28.5 years. So let me get rid of this and let me change this back. Let me get rid of this. And let me let me expand this. And we're going to change this gain term from 0 to 1 and and we're going to look at what happens if we make this extra $10,000 payment at 10 years into the loan. So let me select this. Let me let me, oops, let me cancel this. Okay, let me select this value. I'm going to make it 1. Select OK. So we see that the gain has changed to 1. So now this current source is going to activate. So let's re-simulate. I'm going to select my run. And now let's probe. Well, let's probe this little pulse here, our one-time payment. So let's zoom in here. This is her one-time payment. Let's zoom in again. And so this shows that at 120 months, there's a, a payment here that this current source is enabled and we're going to pay off $10,000. So let me change the view here. Zoom to fit. And now let's probe our debt node. And let me let me get rid of this cancel this. Let me delete a trace. Let me delete this guy just for clarity. And now we see that we start with our hundred thousand dollar loan. We see that at 
At 10 years into the loan, we see the result of the one-time payment. We see the loan getting paid off at about this time. So let's zoom in here and see what the payment time is. Let's click on this. this. So let's move this over to Okay, so it looks like it's about roughly 301.2 months, which if we divide that by 12, comes out about 25.1 years. So now what has happened here, by making that one-time $10,000 payment at 10 years into the loan, Alice has shortened her loan payments by 3.4 years. Now 3.4 years of paying $550 a month is saving her a lot of money. So she is saving about 22,000 over $22,000 by making that one-time payment of of $10,000. So she's net saving over $12,000 in interest payments by making that additional $10,000 payment.